So I have to just laugh really hard when I look back and think about what my views were a couple years ago and what they are now and, and see the huge difference. Um, it's, it makes me laugh uh, when I think about it. And today I'm going to be specifically talking about coming out. Two years ago I was still in the closet. I, I, there were a couple people in the world that I had told and uh, and that was it. And I was I was terrified that other people would find out. I didn't want anyone to know. I mean, I didn't even want to admit to myself. I didn't want to use the word gay because at that point in time, I thought the word gay carried all sorts of luggage with it. You know, that you sleep around and you're promiscuous and, and maybe that you want to be a woman or dress like a woman or whatever. Um, and now I know it doesn't mean any of that. All it means is that you're attracted to someone of the same sex. Um, anyway, uh, I, I was just scared that people would find out I was gay. I didn't want to tell anyone. I didn't want people to know. I wasn't sure I wanted to come out of the closet ever, ever in my life. And, and now I, I think just the exact opposite. Um, and I'm, I, I understand. I'm understanding of, of people who are in the closet and who want to remain in the closet. I understand why they want to remain in the closet. I know even now it's it's a big deal for some people. And, and certainly not as big a deal as it was back in, say, the 50s or 60s when if, you, if people knew you were gay, you could get killed. I mean, you could be mobbed. People would just, you know, lynch you or something. I mean, we've come a long way. We really have. But even now, especially if you're from a religious family, uh, it, you, you can have a lot of negative repercussions uh, from coming out of the closet. So yeah, it's a, it's a big deal. And, and I do want people to know, I'm here uh, to support you. If, if you're watching this video and you're closeted or uh, you know somebody that, uh, that's relatively closeted, um, you, can, you can talk to me. And you can reach out to me, and I'm, I'm not going to blab any secrets. Um, I'm not even going to tell you what you should do, you know. If you want to uh, do the Thai Mansfield route and stay in your church and marry heterosexually, that's fine. I don't mind. And if you want to do my route and uh, find a guy to marry, uh, that's fine too. And whatever it is you want to do. Um, I, I want you to know I'm I'm here to support anyone, um, you know. If you need support, if you need someone to talk to, I'm here. I'm available. Um, get a hold of me. Talk to me um, privately if you like to. That's fine. But uh, but I just laugh at myself back then, and now and now I. Um, <laughs> I wonder why it took me so long to come out of the closet. I mean, I know. I, I know my feelings. I understand the feelings that I had back then. But right now, I just think it's all so silly. Because, because I picture two or three generations from now, no one will care. It won't be a big deal. It won't be a huge issue. I mean, my grandkids, they're going to sit there and go, what does coming out of the closet mean? Like, they'll watch a movie from this point in time. And somebody will say coming out, or he was in the closet, or something. And they'll literally think that there's a guy standing there in the closet, and that it took him years to come out of it. And they'll be like, what's going on here? What, what does that mean? Because it won't be a big deal to them. People, people won't have to keep it secret that they're attracted to someone of the same sex. Just think about it this way. They will think about it like this. They really will. So think about it like this. So you are a straight man, okay, and you are attracted primarily to blondes. Let's suppose nearly all men are. Let's just suppose. I don't know if that's true or not, but let's suppose like 90% of all men are attracted just to blonde women. Okay, blonde hair is a prerequisite before you're even going to want to be with them. They have to have blonde hair. Okay, now... Imagine that you have a friend that, uh, that doesn't like blondes. He doesn't like blondes. He likes women, he likes, but he only likes women with brown hair. He only likes brunettes. 
okay? Just imagine how silly it would be if he came to you one day. He came to you and he just seemed really troubled. And he's like, like, okay, I'm, there's something I really need to tell you. And I just, I just want to know that you'll still be my friend no matter what. And you're like, okay, dude, you're kind of being weird. What do you mean? And he says, well, okay, I'll just say it. Um, I'm a brunette lover. And this is, this is something that's been weighing heavily on him for years, and he wasn't sure he could confide in anybody, and all of a sudden he confides in you because you're his best friend and he trusts you. Imagine how ridiculous that would seem to you. You'd be like, dude, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. I like blondes. You like brunettes. I'm not going to get mad at you because you like different women than I do. That's that's how you'd think about it. I mean, you might not understand. You know, well, well, why don't you like blondes? I love blondes. I look at a blonde and I'm like, rrr, rrr. What, why don't you feel that when you see a blonde? You might think that, but you're not going to go, oh, you're so immoral. You only like people with brown hair. That is exactly how the grandkids are going to look at it. They're going to be like, yeah, okay, so you like dudes instead of chicks. Doesn't matter to me. I don't care. That's how you are. I like chicks. You like dudes. We're still friends. I mean, we don't have to be both attracted to the, you know, both attracted to women. That's fine. It won't be a huge issue. People won't, and there won't be this, oh, I wonder if Zachary, oh, yeah, Zachary Quinto came out of the closet. There's a surprise. You know, there won't be this, oh, do you think Ryan Reynolds is gay? I don't think he's gay. I think he's straight, but I could be wrong. Doesn't matter to me, and it won't matter to our grandkids. They'll be like, okay, so he's gay. I mean, so what? Uh, that's his personal life. And, and it won't be, people won't make a big deal about whether you're gay or straight. If somebody asks if you're gay or straight, it might be just because they want to know if, uh, if you might be into them. That's that's like the only time it'll come up, you know? It's like, you want to set your friend up with someone, well, if they're gay, you don't, you know, if you don't, if they're a gay guy, you don't want to set them up with a girl. Uh, if they're a straight guy, you, you do want to set them up with a girl, you know? So, you know, you might ask them, all right, are you gay or straight? Da -da -da, I can set you up with this person. Maybe then. Uh, I'm I'm sure there'll still be like gay bars and stuff and, and lesbian bars and gay guy bars, you know. And but it's not to exclude people. It's not to say you know straight people can't come here. It's just because, you know, that way, uh, it, it's kind of nice. You know, you go to the bar and if you see somebody you like, you're pretty sure you can go up and start flirting with them, and uh, at least they won't get mad at you. They might not like you back. That always happens, but at least. They're not going to be like, uh, do them. You know. So, there might still be gay bars. But there won't be like, oh, I'm in the closet, and he's in the closet, and he's, oh, he needs to come out of the closet. There won't be a closet. There's just, you like guys? Okay. You like girls? Okay. You like guys and girls? Fine. You want to have sex with seven people at the same time? Eh. Be safe. Uh, don't don't infect each other with STDs. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> so I laugh about it because because our kids, not our kids. Well, maybe our kids. Hopefully, that soon. But grandkids and and later, they're just gonna be like. <laughs> Why were they making such a big deal about this? They'll even think, they won't even think it's real. They'll be like, oh, yeah, 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 sure. You had to be in the closet. You couldn't tell anyone you were gay, right? Oh, you're so funny, Grandpa. You know, and just like nowadays, I mean, it's it's hard for people to think, what, you mean a white person couldn't marry a black person in your generation? That is so weird. Are, you're, you're just pulling my chain, aren't you? Like, that's stupid. But it did happen, and in slavery, uh, people treated like property, right? Yeah, like I'm going to buy that. 
yeah, it really did happen. And I mean, even if even if you believe it, even if you're like, yes, I know, and me, I know slavery happened, but I, I don't, I don't think of it um, the same way as I think of things that I've witnessed myself personally. I, I don't. It's it doesn't have that level of reality because I haven't witnessed it. I mean, to me, it's still surreal, even though I know yes. People were enslaved, and they literally were treated like property. They were bought and sold, and they were whipped, and they were kept in chains, and they weren't paid for their work. Uh, and I, I know that it happened, but to me, it's, it's still sort of surreal, because I can't imagine someone actually doing that. And I think our posterity is going to be the same way. They're going to be like, you mean people actually made a big deal about whether you could marry someone of the same sex? Like, people actually cared whether someone else was in a relationship with somebody of the same sex? And they're just going to laugh it off, and they're going to be like, yeah, right, why would people be that petty? <laughs> Future generations are going to be like, <laughs> you guys are stupid. <laughs> and that's how I feel now. It really is. It really is. And so I laugh about why it was such a big deal to me when I was in the closet. And I'm, I, and again, I'm not making fun of people who are closeted. And I'm not saying that there's something wrong with being in the closet. I understand why people are still in the closet. And I understand that even in 2012, in some cases, there is a need for gay people to be closeted. And, and that it does serve a purpose and that coming out of the closet can be dangerous. If not physically, at least emotionally, it can be very harmful. And uh, so I'm, I'm not making fun of anyone. But I am saying our, our posterity will think that we're so silly that, that we make this huge deal about it. And, and to them, it will be nothing. It will be, it will be just like left-handed and right-handed people. There was a time when left-handed people were thought to be evil. Um, they were taught that they should not use their left hand. They must use their right hand. My own grandpa was left-handed, and he, uh, he was prevented from using his left hand. He became right-handed. I mean, he was taught to only use his right hand uh, because using your left hand was evil. And and nowadays, I mean, who cares? It, you use your left hand, you use your right hand, it doesn't matter. There really is no difference. Who cares? And that's how our kids are going to look at it, or our grandkids, or whatever. They're going to be like, you want to be with one person of the same sex, one person of the opposite sex, you want to be with multiple people, fine. You're not hurting anybody, you're not damaging anybody, you're not infringing on anybody's rights. Everybody involved is consenting and safe and great. Do your thing. Be happy. Do what makes you happy. So, anyway, that's that's all I have to say. It's just my views have changed so much because now I'm I'm I think my views now are kind of like well, maybe speculation about what the future is going to be like, I guess. And in the past, <laughs> it's like <laughs> two years ago, I was living in the 17th century, and, and now I'm living in like the 22nd century. This <laughs> huge jump in my views and values and stuff. Anyway, um, that's it.